I just thought I'd chuck up a really quick little video today, um, something I'm working on at the moment. Um, I've just put together a, a cider, a pretty basic little cider. I just got a you know, two or three litre um, apple juice from the supermarket, threw some yeast in it, um, just basically brewed it in the container, just threw a bit of cheesecloth over the top of it to um, act as a bit of an airlock, and it seemed to have fermented out all right. And then I ended up um, back sweetening it with um, some more apple juice at the end to sort of give it about the right flavour um, so it wasn't too dry. Um, and so what I've ended up doing is just with these bottles here, they've been um, bottled for about three days and the sort of carbonation's probably about right but because I've obviously thrown so much sugar back in there I can't really let them fully carb out otherwise they're just going to go bang. So, um, the plan is to try and pasteurise them in here, so I'm just heating up some water, um, as you can see. And apparently, if you bring it up to about 180 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which is around 82 or so Celsius, um, and chuck these bottles in here and leave them for about uh, 10 minutes, then that should be enough to sort of heat up the bottles and kill off the yeast and basically stop the fermentation process from continuing. Uh, so that's the plan anyway. So this has just come up to temperature now. It's um, you're around 82 degrees Celsius. Maybe 80, 83. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to basically chuck these into the water bath. And hopefully nothing goes bang. Actually, I might just wait a second for that element to cool down. So yeah, just as a disclaimer, I have actually just opened one of these, um, and the carbonation was probably slightly on the low side, but um, I'd sort of prefer it to be like that rather than being over carbonated and then obviously risking um, putting a whole lot more pressure on the bottles when I heat them up. Alright, I might just move this off this element. residual heat off there. So I've got the water level in there so it's pretty much just coming up to about the level of the cider in the bottles. For 10 minutes and then hopefully nothing goes bang. Alright these have had a little over 10 minutes now so I'm just going to pull them out of the water bath. Hopefully nothing goes bang to give me a fright. Actually wearing some safety glasses. Well, actually, just my reading glasses, but probably not a bad idea when you're dealing with hot, pressurised bottles. Sweet. So I'm just going to leave those to cool off. Um, just out of interest, I don't mind seeing what temperature this has ended up at. So I think the actual pasteurization temperature is around 60 degrees, so you're sort of overheating it. Because um, obviously the bottle is going to cool down the water and it's going to take a while for the internal temperature of the bottle 
to sort of come up to that temperature. So I mean this is at the end of the process which I probably left them for closer to 15 minutes in the end. That's still around yeah, 68 degrees, so hopefully that's all good.